I want to take a take advantage of this break between rainstorms and give a kind of first look at my chicken coop that I've about 90% built. Um, this is the uh, the coop part of what it will eventually be a coop and run. There'll be a chicken run that will go out about 12 feet and, and come back in 8 feet. Um, the chickens will have access to the bottom underneath the coop. That's where their food and water will hang. But uh, so far all I've got built is the coop itself. As I said, I'm about 90%. So we'll look at we'll look at what I've got built so far. Now this side of the coop will be open to predators. And I've built this with a mind to predators. Uh, I keep a game camera out. And it's amazing how many possums and raccoons and, and uh, gray and red fox we have coming through our property and through this yard uh, at night. So I've tried to make this as predator proof as I can. The first side, the side facing the house, is the side with the nesting box. I've placed a plexiglass window so that you can look in and see pretty much all the coop and see what the girls are doing. And then below it is the nesting box. The nesting box is about 40 five inches wide, wide enough for four nests side by side. I've just put up a little cord there so that you can open it. Uh, I've built the nests out of five gallon cat litter uh, buckets. I've got quite a few of these. I cut them and uh, made a space for the hand to come in and get the eggs out nothing special there just normal nesting box I've yet to put a latch on I've got to do that part of the 90 percent so that's the first side the next side that faces out um, and doesn't have a run to separate it is the um, I guess what I call the maintenance door side I've got half inch wire up here and you can't tell but that's two layers of half inch wire. I've got half inch wire on the outside and on the inside. I've only done that uh, where I have this large opening facing out and I don't have the, the fence of the run to protect. On the other side I just have one layer of half inch but I've got two layers there. And I also took a hint from somebody on the internet and I used this um, carpet tack strip. It's cheap and it's kind of predator proof. Uh, you don't want to touch that stuff. Now, as to the door. This is my invention and if this works it's great. If it doesn't work it's all my fault. What I've done is I've created a maintenance door. Uh, it's really two doors in one. And what I want to do here is to be able to maintain the cleanliness of the coop as easy as possible. So I'll show you how that works. It's two doors. They are both dead bolted and latched. And because I'm just worried about four-footed predators, I don't have a lock on here, just a latch. The bottom and the top open separately. The top opens up, and then I have in place a bungee. I'm doing this one-handed. That holds the top open. And a lot of stuff can be done with just this one door open. Now, the reason for this little door and the reason why and you may have wondered about this I have the 2x4 uh, structure on the outside is what I've done is built a box inside so that I can lay down linoleum all over the floor and about six inches up and have a smooth linoleum layer that if I have to I can get a, a hose and, and lightly wash it out and that's where this door comes in play. This door will drop all the way down once this is out of the way and you can see I can uh, work a hose, I can use a squeegee, a rake, whatever I need to and what I'm going to do with this linoleum, my plan, I haven't done it yet so it may go wrong, is the linoleum will, will, will work its way up six inches all the way around and here I'm going to have a linoleum flap that will just come up and velcro 
and then when I go to open this, I unvelcro it and let it flap down. That's my plan. I'll be letting you know in a subsequent video how well it works. Moving along to the other side, on the side facing the water, I don't have anything, just a wall, and then I have uh, ventilation up here. Um, I'm more concerned about the heat than I am the cold. In really bad cold weather, I can uh, put plastic up over those ventilation holes, but I want to make sure that the chickens don't get overheated. Now, this is the side facing into the run, and the run is going to be fenced not just on the sides, but on the top, because we also have hawks and an occasional eagle and um, osprey. So um, this, uh, this side will be facing into the run, so there'll be one more layer of security. First of all, I have the chicken's door. Now, I built this myself, and after I went to a lot of trouble taking um, scrap metal and bending it and cutting it to my wishes, someone uh, on YouTube showed how they used um, cabinet slides, and that would have been really easy, but I didn't think about it. So I fabricated my own slides. Now my door is a heavy piece of fiberglass off of one of my dad's old boats. Um, that was perfect, and of course it was free. The uh, I used a, a micro cord so as to um, have the least amount of friction, and then I used this bead as a stop to make sure that when you raise the door it only goes so far and then it'll stop. And I'll show you the function of that in a minute. Then in the middle I have another service door. This door really would serve the purpose in really bad heat as to be a, um, a way to get some air into the coop. And my plan there is I'm going to build a screen section, not really a screen door, uh, I don't plan on putting it on hinges. Um, well, I can't put it on hinges because uh, it would get in the way of the main door. But I plan to build a screen door that will fit into here, and um, I'll latch it somehow. And during real bad heat, I may um, use that at night so that the girls get plenty of, uh, of cool wind coming in. So this is the, the side facing into the coop. I will be building a um, step here and then my my stairs will go down this way. I'm not building a a, um, uh, a regular board stepway kind of walk the plank thing but I'm going to build actual steps. Chickens can hop really good and I think that once they see how to use it they'll they'll use steps and it'll be steps that will go down. I said before I'm going to be putting the food and water underneath here. Hanging buckets uh, with food and uh, water nipples. All right, so that's that's the whole outside of the coop. Oh, let me show this real quick. This is the uh, the operation for opening the door. You just pull it. That loop is already set up, the right place for leaving the door open. So that's how you let the girls out at night, at in the morning and at night. You just let it go down. It seems to work okay. Now we'll try to take a look inside, see what it does. <clears throat> Okay, on this end, I'll have the roosts. I have one put up. Uh, I've got two more to put up on this end, and this will just be an end with roosts. Um, nothing real fancy here. And as, as I said, there'll be linoleum down here. All right, here are the nesting boxes. I have four side by side. I've got a five inch board in front of them secured. It will have linoleum on it. And then I have this board put down at an angle, and that is solely there to keep the chickens from trying to roost on top of nesting boxes. I've hinged it so that I can lift it up and service my um, nesting boxes. Pull them out, let's say egg gets broken there, you can just pull it out and clean it. Also, a neat thing about using these uh, is I still have the blue piece, the blue lid, and I can block off uh, a nesting box if I need to. We can just decide, okay, this this nest is out of service. They can't use it anymore. 